the busy intersection of Loop 499 and Breedlove offers crosswalk push buttons in all directions. There's also a bike lane along the loop, which police say is off limits to drivers except during emergencies. Harlingen police are still trying to determine why 31-year-old Elida Briseño of Harlingen crossed the road with traffic traveling at about 55 miles per hour. The vehicle had a green light. It was going through uh, the intersection and uh, the female stepped out in front of the vehicle and um, she was struck. Uh, we believe that the driver had little chance to uh, make a, an evasive maneuver uh, prior to striking the female. Briseño was not jogging and does not live nearby. Police say it was about 6.45 in the morning when she was hit and still dark outside. She was wearing a dark shirt and jeans and had no identification on her. All unsafe measures, especially when walking in such a high traffic area. Anyone who's out decides to, to either walk along the side of the roadways or doing some exercising in, in the mornings, uh, just make sure they wear something that's light colored that uh, drivers can see them and don't assume that the vehicles oncoming can see them. Once the news got out, bikers and joggers alike responded on social media about the need for safety on the roads. City Commissioner Robert Leftwich says currently the city has several hike and bike trails open to the public, one at McKelvey Park and around the city lake. He says this summer another trail will be built from TSTC to the Ramsey Nature Park to give joggers, bicyclists and walkers another option. People that are walking are recommended to go uh, facing traffic. Uh, so they can see the vehicles coming and bicyclists are encouraged to travel with the flow of traffic.